So welcome back to the fifth episode of the JavaScript interview series. This one we're going to be looking at ASI, which is automatic semicolon injection, object literals, square bracket syntax, and hoisting. So you'll need to understand all of those things to solve this. So with this starting code snippet, and if you want your own copy of it, there's a link down in the description to a code gist. You can grab that to start with. So the question is, with this code, when you run it, what's going to happen? What's going on here? Why is it happening? And how would you fix it? So I will pause here for a second, let you try this out, experiment on your own, and then we'll come back and talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So what's going on here when we run this is simply we are getting an F reference error with the variable A. A is not defined. And the one A that we're talking about, there's three of them here, is this one right here. It does not know what this is, which at first glance seems a little counterintuitive because clearly right here we've created a variable A. It's being declared above this line of code, so why isn't it containing this object? And then we go inside of here and say, okay, put the object inside this array and go. Well, the reason is automatic semicolon injection. Because we didn't put a semicolon here, like this, this is how we fix it. The semicolon has to go here before this line. Now with that, if I run this again, it works. The code runs. Now, why is this happening? So let's take a look at that. If you put a curly brace with no semicolon after it, and then the next line begins with a square bracket, JavaScript is going to look at that and say, yeah, okay, that's valid syntax. I don't need to say there's a syntax error. I understand what's happening because it looks at it in this way. It is, so let's say we create an object. We put something into it like that. Okay, we have now a variable. The variable contains something. Then if you were to do this, I'm creating an array putting it in, put the object inside the array, and then I can call for each. That's not a problem. However, we can use an object literal syntax instead of a variable. So we could write something like this. We put curly braces with this inside of it, and then we do that. This is the square bracket syntax that allows us to access properties inside of here. So if I were to say A, what I'm doing here, actually with quotation marks around it, I'm saying find the property A inside of this object right here. So that's the way it's viewing this bit of code without the semicolon. It's saying, okay, you want me to find a property, but not called A, it's using the variable A. So if I was to change this back without the, semi, without the uh, quotation marks, now we're going to have a problem because this is a variable, it's not a property name. Without the quotation marks, it's a variable. So it's going to start scanning upwards, looking for that variable. All right, so what have I done here now? Undo that, I wanted to comment that out. So now looking at our example, what's going on in the code is with hoisting. First of all, we do this. The A gets hoisted to the top and declared, fine. Any variable that is hoisted at that moment when it's created, it's containing the value undefined. It ha hasn't been assigned anything yet. Now, without the semicolon, we have the curly braces with our object inside of it, the square brackets with a variable called A. Fine, it exists, but it's undefined. So now we're looking for something inside of this object that has the key undefined. There isn't one. So when we try to do for each, what we're doing is for each on something that doesn't exist, and that's going to fail. So this is the problem right here, is that we are trying to assign a broken line of code to the variable A. Because all of this, without that semicolon, this is how the browser sees it, or this is how the JavaScript interpreter sees it. One line of code where it's declaring a variable, giving it the value of undefined. The next line of code is going to be trying to run this expression and assign it to this. 
we don't have anything in A, so it's the same thing as if I wrote this. Find the thing inside of here with the key undefined. And there's your solution. So solving the problem is putting the semicolon here to break this up into two parts. Now A does exist. A has been assigned a value. So we can go through that array. And for the one thing that's in the array, we will log out the value, the A colon 123. All right. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.